Hello YouTubers, welcome back. This is Spirit Mongo 187 and this is another match of Shadow Era. Well, I've decided to switch the decks and uh, I'm not gonna play Amber Rain I think for a while. When I started this series of videos it was going pretty well with Amber Rain but nowadays I lose uh, more and more games with the deck so uh, yeah it doesn't matter to me how many rating I get but I'm just gonna switch some decks so I'm going to play a different hero now. Um, this is uh, the hero. Uh, my first when I started Shadow Era, the first deck I chose, uh, I told it before, was the the Amber Rain, and I was a little bit disappointed because I didn't have any weapons at the time. And after that, I bought a new deck, and it was Mijija, or how you pronounce it, Mijija. Uh, so this was my. Uh, second deck I chose and at the time her ability was a bit different it said uh, 2 shadow energy uh, activate the ability and draw a card so this was a pretty sick ability at the time uh, after that it got nerfed to 4 shadow energy deal 3 damage if it kills an ally draw a card but that was really crappy and they turned it into uh, 4 shadow energy deal 3 damage draw a card always draw a card and not only if the ally dies so we're facing a land shadow stalker uh, it's gonna be a rough match so uh, now opening hand is pretty nice and we have a portal here, a wolf and tracker uh, we're just going to get away of uh, bad sander and we will end turn Got some burn here, we got a dead mage, always nice, and a portal. I play three portals in this deck, and it slows you down for one turn, but after that turn, you are able to uh, drop out an ally with haste, so that's very nice. For the next return, you can drop them out. And we're just gonna sacrifice the Iron Knight, because I already missed it in, on turn two. And what we are going to do is, I think we're going to sacrifice our death match by playing it. Or do we want to use the fireball? Um, I can fireball it to death or death mage and ability next turn. Um, no, I think we're going to death mage it. To three. Yep. We're going to end turn. So this deck is a bit harder to play. Amber Rain is a pretty fun deck, uh, easy to play, and pretty cheap. So if you're starting, um, well, Amber Rain is pretty hard to start with, but once you get some gold and shadow crystals, it's nice to uh, build an Amber Rain deck. But for starters, I uh, I would not recommend it because you don't have any weapons in the beginning, so you're not able to use your ability. Just going to kill the death mage. We knew that already. But now I can use this lightning strike. If he drops another ally, I can do at least 6 damage to an ally. Or we're just going to drop the portal and use our ability. I think that is what is going to happen. Uh, but which are we going to sacrifice? The fireball or the lightning strike? Let's get rid of the lightning strike. So we're going to use our ability first. So we're drawing a card. And he didn't play anything last turn. Let's just drop out a portal. And next turn. Well, there is a big possibility I'm not gonna play any allies next turn. So the portal was just there to do nothing. Because I think he's going to drop something scary and going to give it haste. But we'll see. Maybe a Raven Lore, if that's called that creature. Uh, 3 6, and if it deals damage to an ally. It reduces its attack to zero or a sandworm or something like that. 
Nope, he's going for the ankle breaker. But that sucks. He's going for my face, I think. I think what I'm just going to do is get some durability away from the ankle breaker by attacking him directly. He's going to end his turn. Let's just see what we are going to draw. Because this guy is uh, also pretty nice. The dagger of unmaking. It's kind of like the ankle breaker. But I think no one plays it, actually. Almost no one. But I think it's a little bit underestimated. But it really sucks against the Sandman, but against almost all other allies, it's pretty nice. Except Priest of Light, I think, Sandworm, and uh, Belladonna, but I think no one plays Belladonna. Almost no one. Against some uh, decks, it's pretty nice if they pump up their ally with their ability or something. I well, we do not want to attack, I think. Um, yeah, what are we going to do? I'm going to use this once. It would be such a waste. Let's just get this one out. And attack him. Taking some more damage. So next turn I'm going down to 17 at least. So I must watch out. Because he's able to give his allies haste. So I should not take any more damage after this turn. But we just have to take down the durability of his ankle breaker by one. But there it is, Aeon Stormcrawler. So is he going to give it haste? I don't think so. Because I'm going to bounce it back to his hand. Well, that's a nice draw. And let's just skip it out. Um, yes. You want to skip it, cast this one, and we'll attack the Aeon, bouncing it back to his hand. And we're just gonna lure this one out, we're gonna give him some damage, we have to deal some damage eventually. And he's going to take it out next turn, but that's the whole idea. So just dagger has one two durability left. So his Aeon is going back to his hand all the time, so that's why I really like this dagger. Maybe he's going to attack my Shadow Knight with haste, who knows. And take one durability of my dagger. But we got some pretty nice cards in our hand left. So there he goes one, and that's nice about the ambush ability, it doesn't lose any durability. It makes sense, but... It's nice. Uh, he's going to take out the shadow now. No? Yes, no. Got one resource left. He's going to give it haste and ambush, yes. Ah, so I cannot attack it next turn. That's a bit nasty. Um, yeah, well, what are you going to get rid of now? Um, let's just... Um, oh, this is hard. Um, we will get rid of... Oh, my scratch. Oh, my scratch. Uh, this is some card draw, right? This is some... Damage. Well, we'll get rid of this. Um, and we are going to do some damage against the AI. Destroy it. I don't like that AI. And we can attack him. We take some damage, but take out the ankle breaker at least. Go and turn. So we're getting in a health position where I do not want to get below 15. 
especially not against uh, land shadow star because they can surprise you they can sneak attack you give their ally haste and hit you in your face but generally I do not like getting below 15 health with any deck I play so I'm playing this brutal minotaur you don't see those a lot I think well, I, I don't see them a lot in any decks so. It's a pretty nice card. It looks like a bit like a Grinning Demon or a Jusum Jin from Magic the Gathering. Uh, it's also a nice card. It's uh, 5 resources, 5-5 five, five ally, 4 resources, sorry. At the beginning of your turn you take on damage. So that would also be a nice card for Shadow Arrow. Okay. And this is a nice. We are going to use our ability yeah, to draw a card, because we could use a card. And we're going to drop down a portal. We're going to drop down a portal, yep, we're going to drop a portal. And to just hold on to our dagger. When he got two cards in his hand, he can use his ability and he got an ill gun. It is pretty scary, especially this stealth ability. Because now I can drop allies and take them down, but not if you got stealth. There it is, a Raven Wildheart. Can we use this ability? Yeah, I do think so. Oh, he's not going to use it. Well, that's nice for me. Um, I'm going to drop four. Now we're going to take it out. We are going to take it out. Just drop this one and hit it in the face for six. It will enter. We really have to watch out for the haste stability and stealth. I mean, maybe he got a card in his hand, three, three resources, uh, your ally becomes, uh, uh, cannot attack anymore and destroy an ally, opponent ally. And there's a Jasmine. Does he have it? Does he have it? Yes, assassination, that was the card I meant. Yep, there it is. No, it's not going to. Maybe he's going to stun my... No, he's going to use it. I was hoping for him to use his ability. I'm taking some damage here. He's going to hit me to 10. Oh, oh no, he doesn't. Of course not, he cannot attack. What I'm going to do is... Create 4... Mm. Oh well, I'm gonna have to use combat damage to our car. 3 and 4, 7. Let's just get rid of this. And we will play this one. And we are going to hit him. 2, drawing the card. Play this one. And to. Uh, oh, we can't. Oh my god, there was an error. I thought I could attack his Jasmine, I forgot. That's so stupid. Wow, I forgot I can attack his Jasmine. That's silly. That's going to cost me eventually, maybe. Uh, and I played some matches uh, after my last video, and. I lost somebody. I'm 257 now. I was at 260, I think, at my last video. But I lost against someone who had 219 rating points. 280. Or 210 or something. Yeah, he had a, a much lower rating than me, so I lost 2 or 3 points. So that sucks. I got 2 cards, 7 resources. He cannot use his ability. At least his uh, hero ability. He's able to use his Jasmine ability. 
want to drop something scary. There it is, a raven wild card. That's pretty scary. But what is he going to do? He's going to lure one of my creatures, allies, so it cannot attack. Yes, and he's going to visit one. Yep, giving me a card. Well, that's not the best, the bad, best decision you could make, I think. to sacrifice something three four seven no I think I'm just gonna uh, let's see let's just bounce that one back to his hand I think and destroy this one first taking it down drawing another card and we'll just attack this one bouncing it back to his hand we have another one. Uh, no hand, so you can always be worth taking. Play it again. And which one should I play? I can use the ability if I play this one. And let's just do that. Use our ability. Move one Raven Wildheart. And play an Aronite Barrage and draw we'll enter. So the board is ours. And I got some nice card in my hand. Uh, with uh, almost at the same health. Both got free shadow energy. Let's go to play as Raven and the Nightshade. Mm. Let's just get rid of an Ironite Crush. Okay, uh, let me see. What are we going to do? First, I think we're going to destroy him. Draw another card. Then, we are going to use our ability on her. Taking her down to 4. And... Back with this one, drawing another card. Yep, that's got four health left. Um, let's just um, let's drop out the portal and the morbid egg light. And we'll attack this Raven just to ensure and attack him again. Take him down to 10. Yeah, it takes some brainstorming to play this. Uh, gotta, I haven't played it for a long while. Enter. But you have to think a little bit harder of the decision than the Amber Rain deck. But I think this deck has got a nice. Uh, nice card flow in it, nice card draw, uh, nice allies, and the ability is pretty good as well. So let's just finish him off. And this was my first first match, I think, with this hero. And it is uh, ended in a win. In a win. Use our ability and take him down. Bye bye, Lance. Well, I hope you like this match. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and next match will be the same hero again. And I'm not going to play Amber Rain for a while because I play too much with her. And uh, yeah, maybe if you want to see another deck, but I really like this deck and I think I'm going to shoot some more videos with it. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next match. Cheers!